hello everyone so this is my next video for ESXi so this is uh, mm, for uh, uh, you know patching the ESXi server so how we can patch the ESXi server because the ESXi is an operating system and it also have uh, patches from VMware because you know time to time when they find some security breaches or some bugs they release patches as Microsoft or any other operating system so today we are gonna uh, see that okay how we can patch any ESXi so in my case I'm running ESXi 6.5 and the build version is 4.5.6.4.1.0.6 we will see that okay how we can uh, do the upgrade so let's just take a look at it so first what we need to do is we need to uh, we, we must have ESXi running okay so here I'm going to demonstrate that in VMware workstation you can do that in your uh, server uh, wherever you have installed maybe it is your production environment or maybe it's your testing environment alright so let's get started so the first step is that you, know, you must have your ESXi running then there should be a you know some operating system let me show you 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 you'll access your ESXi by putting the IP address here let me just do that real quick to show you so after ESXi 6.0 and after that you can simply access your ESXi from browser you don't need to install a software on your computer that in earlier version you used to do that you need to install VMware uh, vSphere client for Windows to manage the ESXi and if you want to manage that through browser you must have a VMware vSphere client web client basically so so here uh, I actually already logged in so that's I didn't, it didn't ask me to you know, provide credentials otherwise it will ask you to put the credentials that would be root and the password whatever you have set up okay so here you can see my build version is 4564106 and the version is 6.5.0 okay so let me show you how many virtual machines I'm running so I'm running one virtual machine which is Windows 2012 server if I click on it I can show you it is running properly it's not having any issues right now alright so here you can see it's working okay now to upgrade or or to patch the ESXi we need to put the ESXi in the maintenance mode and before that if you have a cluster or maybe like uh, 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 you know ESXi managed by vCenter you can vMotion this virtual machine to other host that will also work or you can just power off these virtual machines and then put the you know your ESXi in the maintenance mode so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down the server and shut down the server once it is powered off then no. then I will proceed with the patching activity now to patch we need to download the patches so let me show you from where you can download the patches so you have to you know you must have a login of VMware then here this is the path I will just put that uh, you know, URL in, in the the information bar right below the video then you can select the product which product you are looking at so you should select the ESXi embedded installable it's important to you in my case I have installable so I'll select this one then I have to select the the version uh, for my case it is 6.5 then the severity so it is for me it is important so I'm just I've select this all categories and I'll click on search then it will show me the list of the patches so I'm just looking at the newer one so I have to just click on this if I will click on download it will download the patch so here it is saying 478.5 MB actually it is is about you know 470 or 68 MB in download 
that that you know sometime you feel that okay it is not complete file but yes it is a complete file so it, actually I have already downloaded that so I'm not going to download that again but yes you need to download that patch from here okay once you have this patch downloaded then you need to you know this will be a zip file you need to upload this patch in the data store so let me show you how to do that so in you click on storage select the data store then click on data store browser here you will see you can click on upload then you will be able to see that okay where this file is so I can show you in in the download so here it is you can select and click on open then it will be uploaded here in my case it is actually uploaded here so I don't need to upload it so once it is uploaded then what you need to do is you need to you know because we are doing we are doing this patching through mm, command line and the reason why because uh, a lot of users they, they they are just having only one ESXi and they don't have the license of uh, VMware update manager the patching tool so they want to do that from command prompt now to do that from command prompt we have to access our uh, you know ESXi from command prompt and to do that we need putty a software so let me show you how to do that and before that let's just see that how we can enable um, you know the ESXi shell and the SSH so just click on this and press F2 to get the option to manage the server username is root password that whatever you have set up then go down in another troubleshooting option you will have the option first enable ESXi shell it is basically ESXi ESX CLI that that should be enabled so if you hit enter it will be enabled then enable SSH hit enter it will be enabled then you just to save go escape escape yes so now it is ready to be accessed so let's just get out from the screen and then let's access the ESXi so for that let me you know open putty and put the IP address of my ESXi so enter root and password and here you are on the you know shell now you need to the first step is to move your ESXi in the maintenance mode so you can do that by two ways one either you do it by you know going here and the host and just put that host in the maintenance mode okay so here you'll have the option of uh, like you know in the action you will have the option of like put that in maintenance mode enter the maintenance mode you can do that from here as well or you can do that by command but so we are doing everything through command so let's just do that by command so you have this command here I'll just put all these commands under you know my you know, YouTube channel under the video so and I'll hit enter okay now this is in maintenance mode let me just refresh it because here you will see a sign here so let me just do that if I refresh the page it will show you that the, your host is in maintenance mode mm, here you go so it is showing some you know black and yellow signs so that okay it maintenance mode and in fact you can also see it here in maintenance mode and this it is successfully completed all right now now the next step is to execute the patch to to execute the patch we have to you know identify the, okay what is the path of our data store because if you look at it here it is a long number here on under the volume and sometimes it is quite tough to identify that okay what is you know the number of your data store so let me just show you an example the where you will be able to understand so so the command is ESX CLI software VIB update dash D then VMFS volumes 
now here here we are confused that okay if you hit tab two times then there are like three data stores now we are not sure exactly that what data store it is however you know it's showing data store one here but actually it is not so let's just verify that okay what which one to pick that's the actual one so you go there and you click on the storage and data store you will be able to see that what is the UUID of this data store so just verify the UUID starting with this so if you look at the first section you just may check that okay what is the actual value here so if you look at the second one it is the actual one so what you need to do is you need to select this one here so you type 5a64 CAD0 then press tab it will auto complete this then type the name of ESXi then inverted comma then hit enter it will take few seconds to few minutes it depends on the performance of your host which is con which is executing these uh, commands once uh, it it will complete the execution it will give you the you know option where you can just put the commands or you will be back again on the root at localhost so let it complete once it is completed then uh, we will uh, exit from the maintenance mode so let's see how much time it takes to complete this process all right so it, it took a while to complete this process okay so here here we go so it's, it's all done now let's just get out from the maintenance mode so here you just need to exit so once you are exit from the maintenance mode okay done you're you're out of the maintenance mode now your host is in normal state let's see okay now here you go so it is in min you know, now you s you look at the build version this is this is actually same but it requires reboot to take effect on so let's just reboot the host do that type reboot hit enter Okay, so now you are just seeing that okay, auto st start power off command is executed here and it will take few minutes to bring you know the server online or to complete the reboot activity so let it let it complete mm, okay so it started power down and it's coming up so it's loading up so it will take few minutes to complete this now we don't need this anymore and let's see okay what it shows as a you know, build version after the patching all right so let it run yeah so it changed the build version it is seven three double eight six zero seven so this build version is actually you know it shows that okay yes we have installed some patches and after that it it has you know it is on the newer version because earlier it was on four six four five six four one oh six okay and now it is seven eight seven three double eight six oh seven so it shows that okay yes we we have successfully patched the system and uh, this is this is to let you know that okay the patch that I installed it this patch is for the meltdown you know, you know patch that that we are you know, struggling with Intel processors so let's let's see that how how it is it is going to work because usually you know, it is creating performance issues that that have been said by the Intel and the VMware as well so let's just see that okay how how it's working is it working properly or it is having some performance issues so let's just complete the booting process okay I think it's almost done here you go okay so yeah so we are back let's see login all right 
so we are back mm, okay All right now you look at the build version it is seven three double eight six oh seven so it shows that okay yes the the update one so it is on the update one so the patch one now let's just start the operating system to so see that okay it is working properly or not so let me just take the console of it right so the server is coming up So let's just log in here. Mm. All right. So yeah it's it's good it's so far so good so we are we are not seeing any issues here and it's working properly all right so that that's it for for this video and hopefully i'll i'll come with the next video if you have any any specific request for any specific uh, topic that you want video on please just uh, drop me a message and i'll definitely bring it to you for you know maybe it takes some time but yes definitely it'll, it'll come up all right thank you very much for watching this thank you bye